So I guess first things first is why do we need a vacuum pump when we're wood turning? Why would we consider buying this when we've got other options out there to use at our disposal when we're creating our items on the lathe? And by the way, I'm not trying to push you towards buying a vacuum pump. None of this stuff in this video is sponsored by anyone. I'm coming to you purely from my perspective and the reasons why I went and started chucking with a vacuum pump. So I like to think of it as an analogy of buying your first car. So when you go out and buy your first car, you start with this, you start with a plate. Well, this is what I at least started with. I started with this, a plate, you mount the bowl on the plate using the tail stock. You then turn the tenon down to a little stub and then from there, you take it off the lathe and go and sand the stub down and then apply your finish. And now I've used this method for quite some time, a few years now, and it's gotten me by. And during those few years, I decided to, you know what, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna buy my second car. So I wanted things to be a little bit nicer. I'm moving up in my wood turning journey and I'm wanting to add to my arsenal of tools. So I go out and buy the Vicmark Bowl Jaws set or the, the Longworth Bowl Jaw set. I start using it because it's just that little step up in your wood turning. You're not relying on a, on a big plate of ply or MBF and fixed to a face plate and foam. You're, you're moving up and you decide to, well, I decided to use these. I was using this method for a while and I got a bit over moving the, the tabs up and down and I got a bit, bit jack of it really and I decided to, you know what, I've used this method for a while now and I've used this method for a while now and when I use this I have to sacrifice one of my chucks but I wanted things to be that little bit nicer and I tend to do things in stages where I'll set up for sanding, I get a batch of bowls out and then I'll go and do all those bowls in one hit and remove all the tenons in one go. So that's where it comes to looking for our family car, the nice car, the one that's shiny and you wanna really take care of it and every time you see it, it gives you a little sparkle in your eye. That's the vacuum pump. That's where the vacuum pump kicked in for me. I still revert to using these methods from time to time, but now it's all about vacuum chucking and finishing the batches of bowls that I do and platters with the vacuum pump. Because, you know, I remember my first car, it was a Honda Accord and it had this, the sunroof and I thought I was the flashiest bloke getting around town. But little did I know that dad, at the time I didn't know this, but dad knew in the bottom of his heart that it might get a little scratch or a little ding on it from being a first car owner, a learner driver, so to speak, out on the road, things might happen, gutter jobs and things like that. So the analogy, I hope it's working for you. So I guess like, why would we go and get a vacuum pump and not just stick to these items? My reasoning for a vacuum pump is it speeds my time up. I can do things in batches. I can remount things later on in the lathe. If I remove the tenon and the mortise, I can still remount that piece on the lathe later on and do any touch-ups for things. And if someone brings something in and it's, uh, it needs something done to it, I can put it back on the lathe. I can also finish everything on the lathe. I can turn the tenon off, I can sand it, and then I can also apply a finish and then it's done. I don't have to worry about different, different bowl sizes and adjusting these little tabs up and down for because not every bowl is the same. Not every bowl will be the same diameter. They're probably just <laughs> close. So I can mount different bowl sizes and platters on the lathe without having to adjust everything and mucking around. So that was my sort of reasoning why. And I can also flip it around and it touch up on the inside as well at the same time. So it really does add that next level ability to redefine your wood turning. So this is a Rothenberger R32 
two-stage, three-quarter horsepower vacuum pump, and it is oil-filled. There's the sight glass on the back. My really close friend, her brother, is an air condition technician and he had this one in his shop that he no longer needed and I got it for a really great price. So that's why I have this vacuum pump and it's got a really cool safety feature that I think you should look out for and I'll demonstrate that when we've got it on the lathe. I'll explain that later on but it's got a really cool safety feature that I think you should keep an eye on if you go out and go to this next stage of getting a vacuum pump. I'll also list on the screen some alternative sizes of vacuum pumps that you might be interested in and I know this is oil filled but whenever I'm using the vacuum pump, whenever I'm turning now and it's it's a finished piece. I'm wearing my respirator anyway because the timber's so dry and it lets off those really fine particles of dust. I've got the room filter on, my respirator on, and normally I'll have a window open for ventilation in the shop anyway. So I'm not concerned about it um, letting off gas vapors. So the Rothenberger, the vacuum pump, connects to a refrigeration line. And the reason why we went down the refrigeration line route is because it doesn't collapse. So even when it's got a lot of volume sucking, it won't, the line won't collapse when it's, when it's drawing that, that volume out as well. And it takes a lot. So if I've accidentally, I'm turning away and something drops on it, it won't kink, kink the line or, or collapse the line. So I don't lose suction is where, I'm, is where I'm getting at. So that's just a little bit of food for thought if that's something that you might consider. It is expensive, this line, I think it was about $100 Australian for this line, but it's, it's in my opinion, it's well worth it. And I always keep it in this bag here. And now how I went about getting this stuff is I went down the road with my mate Ben, he's a plumber, and we went to a few shops first, and in the end, we went to a hydraulic company. And now I highly suggest going straight to a hydraulic company because they will have all the fittings and the bits and pieces, excluding this, all the fittings and bits and pieces that you need to get it done and get it done right with real high quality pieces. That's just my opinion. The refrigeration line then comes up and connects to a T-piece. And so this T-piece here then goes to a ball valve this piece here, a ball valve, and I highly, highly suggest getting a ball valve on your vacuum pump setup. It makes for remounting different pieces, balancing pieces on the lathe when it's on the lathe, and you can just quickly undo the suction and rebalance it so much easier. It makes life so much easier. And how I learned about that is from Glenn Lucas. He has the ball valve set up, and he's also got a gauge there as well. So when he's turning, he's turning away and he can always monitor the mercury, the, how much pressure the vacuum is on. So if he's starting to see a little bit of loss in pressure, he can adjust things accordingly. So it's a really cool, cool idea. Just food for thought for later on. So that ball valve then goes back to the T-piece and then the T-piece connects up to the Vicmark rotating union and that allows the, the piece to sit down like this as this is just spinning on the back of the hand wheel on your lathe and that just connects into to your hand wheel. And this is the 150 mil Vicmark vacuum chuck you can get I believe a 66, 100 mil and a 200 mil. I went with a 100 mil option because this just does all the size bowls that I need. So that's a fairly small bowl and that'll, that'll fit right in there just perfectly. That bowl there, 240 mil, so nine, nine, and, a half, nine and a half inches. So, and that's a 150 mil and that fits perfectly in there. So that's why I don't really turn anything a lot smaller than that. So that's, that's why I went with this. And it also does my really, the lot bigger bowls as well and platters. So that's the Vicmark chucks there. I would also go online and have a look at AirPress UK. Glenn Lucas uses those guys and they've got some really nice uh, vacuum chucks as well as pumps. And I believe on their website, just do, do some research, you can buy packages where it's a wood turner's package and everything just comes assembled for your lathe with the chuck and, and the pump and all the lines and fittings. So it's well worth checking that website, but uh, just do your own research into what lathe you have and find what's suitable for you and your needs. So now that we're out of the way and we've bought our last car, let's go set it all up on the lathe and turn down a tenon and I'll show you that real cool safety feature.